What's up guys, Aiden here, Ace on Landscaping. Welcome back to another video. Today in this video, we're out on the lawn, finally checking it out again. We've also got a new product in the back on the fence post to check out. But before we start the video, let's go get some breakfast. Before we get into the video, I wanted to stop and first take a look at the front lawn. So we're here in the front yard today and we're checking out some of the problems we're currently having and February 15th of 2019, the green color, how it's looking so far. So let's take a step back, check it out first, then we'll come down and talk about the problem. So here's what the lawn is currently looking like. It's not too bad, honestly. Pretty impressed with it so far. Um, you know, it could always be better, but you know, for it being February and all treatments have stopped, doesn't look too bad. So other than my quick little Poet Trivialis spots we got going on in the front, which we're going to be doing a video on just a few weeks, digging these spots out. Other than that, the front yard does look pretty good, and I'm really impressed for um, February, you know? It's, it's really never looked this good in February, but it's really because we've really had a mild winter. Soil temperatures are still sitting in the high 40s. Sometimes they peak into the 50s, so it's not growing, but it's still holding the color. So, you know, obviously 55 is when it'll start growing again. Today, it's only about 35 or so. But uh, other than that, the lawn looks really, really good. I am extremely impressed. So let's go take a look at the backyard, which I am not as impressed with as the front, and I'll mainly explain to you why when we get back there. Here is the backyard. I don't know if you can see it. It's really dark back here because the sun is actually hiding the shadows, but it's a lot browner and it actually looks more like winter when you come back here. The reason for that is I stopped mowing it a lot earlier than the front yard, and it also didn't get that really, really heavy iron app that we did on the lawn. If you do not remember that iron application, I will leave a link in the top right hand corner for that video. But this didn't get as heavy, so obviously it went dormant a lot faster than the rest, which I'm okay with because I don't really need to see my lawn that green during winter. But let's go jump over into the sun over on the other side and see if we can get a little remnant of what's going on back here. Here's what the grass looks like currently. It's not really that bad, but the soil is so compacted and very hard back here right now. Obviously for winter, it's not compacted, but very frozen, which I'm, I'm not disappointed with how it looks. It's actually got more green in it than I expected for it being this time of year, which isn't that bad. You can kind of get a look at what it looks like here in the sun has all this it's pretty much shaded now if there's any little bit of education you could probably take away from this maybe an iron application late in the season isn't as terrible as i thought maybe it's actually beneficial for your lawn because it keeps it greener longer so i don't know if that's if that's something you're interested in maybe you should go for an iron application like that because it didn't harm the lawn at all it actually helped it but let's go talk about the real reason why we're here for this video As we walk around, we can also take a look at the garden here. I actually re-leveled the bed with my buddy Garrett just a few months ago. Um, when he was here, he stopped by. We re-leveled it. If you're following me on Instagram, you can catch that. But um, this garden bed has really held up good. I actually put a bunch of new grass in here from last year. All the grass clippings went in here and it all got nice and leveled out. So here's what it's looking like. So today we're actually gonna be talking about a product made from one of the most supportive companies in this lawn care industry, Fence Armor. They make these, they actually go around deck posts, fence and everything. You can put them around your mailbox, your fence, your deck posts, anything. It actually protects it from damage, any weed whacking or anything that goes along during the base while you're down there. Typically what you do is there's two pieces of them. You have a one metal piece and it kind of looks like this shape and it goes around your post and you can screw them together. But since this is a vinyl decking, I did not screw them together. They're just sitting on there. They're actually frozen on there now since it's so cold out. I don't know if you can see that.
I wanted to talk about the two different styles of fence armor deck posts they have and they send me to show to you guys to see if this would be something you guys may be interested in and having in your lawn. So these right here are their Pro Series. They're six inches tall and they provide you with that extra three inches of support when you go up over the post in case your post for some reason has maybe taller grass or your mailbox sticks off the ground. This would be more beneficial for you because it sits higher. As for their standard ones, you get something like this. They're just three inches high and they sit just above the ground just so you can get your weed whacker right around there and clean it up nice and even. Not only are these good for protection, they're also good for enhancing curb appeal. So they actually make them in different colors and actually like wood tones and different stuff. So it actually looks like it really does blend in with your fence and mailbox. Their products are made in America by 100% galvanized steel. So they're very, very strong posts and they're gonna withstand time and protect your fence posts for long times to come. Fence Armor even has an app in the App Store that you can download if you're a professional landscaper to keep track of your properties and how many Fence Armor fence posts are going down in the property, square footage, and a whole bunch of other stuff. If you're interested, I'll see if I can leave a download link in the description for that app. I believe it's on iOS only. I am not sure. I really wanted to show some support for this company because they're constantly supporting in the community and I told them I would do a video and kind of show it to you guys to see if that's something you're interested in. Please reach out to them. They're Fence Armor on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. They're happy to help. They always respond. I'm sure they're, even if you're a YouTuber, I'm sure they're commenting on your videos because they always love to watch in the community and it's awesome community support. Anyway guys, that's really all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the lawn update. I hope you got a little insight of Fence Armor. I wanted to say a big thank you to Fence Armor for sending three Fence Armor posts out to protect my back deck posts. It is much appreciated and it really, really means a lot. With that, I'm Aiden from Amazon Landscaping. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Now see you on the next one. Peace.